This episode is sponsored by Simply Safe. Go to simplysafecom woodness goodness for a delicious discount. Spring is upon us. Birds chirping, bees buzzing, and the sweet sound of power tools fill the air. Here on Woodness Goodness, we've seen a beautiful display of agility, mental stamina, and the willingness to go where no man's gone before. The next chapter starts now. It's time to get after it. Okay, windows in. We're happy. They look, they look like whoever did it was somewhat experienced. We got a crazy storm rolling through here and um, I figured what better way to be motivated to get some sheathing up. So basically we're gonna measure from this corner here over, find the side of our window and then measure from the bottom up and uh, you know cut out a perfect opening or as close to a perfect opening <laughs> as we can. Okay, 31. Thirty-one. All right. Well that's square. That's a good sign. What is that? Forty-one and three eighths. Forty-one and three eighths. Whoa. Forty-one and three-eighths, thirty-one and a quarter. Where are the places to nail? Great question, Graham. I guess we'll start with one here. We know that's a spot right there, right? Right there. Smarter, not harder. Smarter, but not harder. Um, so basically, I'm just going to have to put a little putty in these nail holes to cover them up. All right, this next piece is gonna be kind of hard. It's like a T, a T-bone steak here. You have a little flap here. And so I'll measure to where my next piece should go to continue to leave a gap. So I got 18, seven eighths there. And then I've got 30 and seven eighths. So I'll start here, 18, 30, and 7 eighths.
Okay, moment of truth. Let's go. <clears throat> okay, honestly, <laughs> I feel pretty good about that. The things I typically screw up, you think this would be at the top of the list, but somehow it ain't bad. I don't know why, but I feel like you lose a little bit. No, well, that's not true. We'll figure it out like we always do. Make enough mistakes to keep your mind going. You know, people like board games, people like jigsaw puzzles. I like putting myself in very precarious and undesirable situations when it comes to making mistakes uh, on these builds, you know? Just why? So, if you didn't hear me say it, so not only are these panels kind of exterior sheathing and look good, but they're actually structural, structurally rated, which is uh, why I'm going straight to the studs. This, this is all I need. All right, we're gonna take a quick break and talk about this video's sponsor, Simply Safe. Simply Safe is like a security blanket for your entire home. From motion sensors to panic buttons, entry sensors, outdoor cameras, indoor cameras, video doorbells, they even have hazard sensors like temperature, water, smoke, and carbon monoxide. The best part about it is you can customize it to your needs. When I first received my Simply Safe system, the first thing I did was set up my outdoor camera to protect my garage. I obviously have some tools in there and it would be unfortunate if someone was to take them. The second thing I did was set up a water sensor in my basement by my hot water heater. I recently visited a friend and their hot water heater exploded flooding their entire house and they didn't know it was happening until it was too late. I also set up some entry sensors for the front and back doors since those are the only places you can get into my house. Setting up the system was a breeze. Once you open the box it guides you through it and the app is extremely intuitive and works with the system flawlessly. I haven't necessarily been nervous about having things stolen from me, but now that I have a Simply Safe system, I literally don't even think about it anymore. Save 20% off on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com slash goodness to learn more. Thank you so much Simply Safe for helping me protect my home and tools. And now let's get back to the video. Ho oh, oh. ho! That one up rather quick obviously it's not going to be beige but it comes primed so it's pre-primed makes it easier to paint and beige is a pretty neutral color can't say i like it but what boat boat what boat You don't, can daddy work on the cabin? All right, we're gonna cut the, um, the little pieces above the windows now. Um, 28 and a half inches, which is perfect because this is eight feet long, which is 96 inches, quick math. Oh, careful, don't sit on it. It's not very strong. Okay. 
some of you guys are on the fence about being a parent. I highly recommend it. <laughs> When I get to the end, I speed up just a hair so I don't get any, or I limit the amount of tear out. There's a better way of doing it, I'm sure, but not on this channel. We just got to cut out a really small section for the top of the window. off the windowsill a bit, which is good. We don't want to pinch any water in there. Okay. Pro tip, or a semi-pro tip. Circular saws, super handy, and they're fairly easy to use. However, at any point, if you're cutting something and it feels like you have to force it, you've already lost. Don't, don't try that. A circular saw is stronger than you. Just assume that, okay? You are but a guide to the circular saw blades beautiful future. You're just gently nudging him to good decisions, you know, maybe a, maybe a great college one day, but you are but a gentle parent and your circular saw is your obnoxious, you know, stays out too late, mouths off at you, child, okay? So be gentle. If you want this circular saw to come back, right? and eventually make you money so you can retire off your child, i.e. your circular saw, but just be very gentle, okay? It's perfect. By the way, these new pants I'm wearing are my new faves. They're called Edge Veil. Uh, awesome, awesome work pant. I'll leave the uh, Link in the description. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. trim that yet. <clears throat> oh 
Okay, so we are going to finish this wall so we can tie back it and then it's also ready for sheathing. Um, and basically get it ready so we can put a patio door in here. I don't have the patio door yet because they're pretty big and I'll probably need another set of hands. With this being a patio door, we're going to have two things of glass and you'll be able to open it up, which will be really enjoyable if, you know, if there's ever a deck in front of this thing or something. All right, our metal came for our corners. And so the reason I haven't finished the roof is because like a roof, you wanna start from the bottom and work your way up. So I wanna put my corner piece on first. So when I get the rake trim, or is it called the eave trim? Gable trim? Gable trim, let's go with gable trim. When it comes down over top, it goes over top of my corner piece. This is what the corner piece looks like. It's pretty big actually, but nothing we can do about that. Um, but obviously it's gonna go under here. It's gonna tuck under my drip edge. It goes all the way to the top right there, which is I think nine feet. If it doesn't look black, it's because it's wrapped in plastic, but that's basically what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna cut this at nine feet. The cut edge will go to the top so you don't see it. This is the absolute worst thing. Cutting metal with tin snips. I'm not about to show you how beautiful this cut is because I just, I just don't want you to compare yourself to me, you know? Look at that. ASMR. <laughs> this like so. Excellent. It's coming together. My roof is strong. My roof is strong. All right. <clears throat> On the way up here, I just realized probably before I put my gable trim on, I kind of want to paint the portions of my fascia board that are going to be uh that you're going to be able to see so i have black paint i'm not going to do it right this second but here while i'm up here let's see what this looks like i gotta get rid of some of that tie back still but we'll cut that later but essentially that's what that's going to do just like so And again, this has plastic on it, so it will be black, but that caps it off beautifully. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yes, sir. That looks really slick. I mean, I think it looks slick. What do, what do you guys think from down there?
like and subscribe. Look and say. Get after it. Get after it. All right, so everything that's going to be exposed under the trim portions of my roof is painted black, so it'll match, it'll look good, and it's not going to be a pain in the butt to paint after I cap it. And again, let me reiterate, this is why I didn't have to put OSB or a sheathing under it. Okay, I wanted the, uh, the weather protection and air protection that Tyvek offers, so I put that straight to the studs. And now my sheathing, which is structural, is also my finished uh, siding. And so you save money and I'm saving weight by doing just the one set of sheathing. So we're gonna trim out the windows, fill in all the nail holes like I said, put the patio door in and finish this wall in the back and we're moving. So next episode, we're gonna try and tackle all that. Appreciate your patience. I know this is taking a little longer than expected, but I'm a dad and I uh, run a few different businesses and that's, this is my hobby, okay? Uh, if you guys wanna go ahead, like and subscribe, maybe one day this could be a full-time thing. But for now, I will I leave you with this. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Go to simplysafe.com slash goodness for a delicious discount.